Thank you, officer. As more students head back to class, officials with the Air Pollution Control District are concerned about the potential negative impact on our air quality. The increase in vehicle traffic right around school zones contributes to air toxins that can be dangerous for children and adults. Action News anchor Jason Oliveira shares what you can do to reduce harmful emissions. Letting your car idle while in the drop-off or pickup line at school has become second nature for many parents. But as students head back to class, it's important to remember running vehicles create more pollution than you might think. Unfortunately, uh, this, this time of year lines up with lots of cars on the street and heat. Heather Hines with the San Joaquin Valley Air Pollution Control District says this week's scorching temperatures will only add to our air quality issues as more cars hit the road. Officials explain the high heat tends to trap the pollution created by idling vehicles. Now, besides driving an electric car, there are just a couple of minor adjustments you can make to minimize the impact at school sites. Don't show up and, and sit in your car for 40 minutes. If you show up early, please just turn off your car, get out, go for a walk, move around. Um, offer to pick up a student in your neighborhood. Heinz recognizes it will take effort to break habits and establish new routines, but many local school districts have already begun the process of switching to clean emission vehicles and buses. We are converting them to electric. A lot of them might have been hydrogen or natural gas, but the, the latest conversion is our electric school bus program. Uh, the technology is improving, the range is improving. Remember, poor air quality is oftentimes colorless and odorless. So, so if you're still concerned about your child's health during the school day, you could always open up the weather app on your phone and check out the air quality index for further details. In Fresno, Jason Oliveira, ABC 30 Action News.